What's going on guys, welcome back. And with Amiibo scalping being a thing again, I thought now would be the perfect time to take my entire collection and throw it on eBay. Or, open them. Please excuse the mess and the cheap beer here. I just wanna do a really quick video unboxing some of my Zelda Amiibo. Um, I've had them since they came out as they were released. Now I really always wanted to open these, but I really never had the reason to until now. Uh, with Breath of the Wild, each of these is going to unlock uh, items and weapons corresponding to each game. So I'm going to open up each one and let you know what you can possibly get from each one. And maybe give you some tips and stuff like that for opening them while keeping the boxes nice and neat. And while also uh, some tips for using the amiibo in the game. So uh, the first one I already have open because I had this one from Japan. So this one I had open already. This is the Ganondorf amiibo. Really nice detail. So with the Ganondorf Amiibo, he's going to give you uh, claymores, rare monster parts, or rare gems. If you're lucky, you'll get a special sword called the Sword of Six Sages. It also drops with barrels that once broken uh, will supply rupees and stuff like that. Um, but the funny thing is he'll actually drop barrels that might be explosive, so you want to be careful. Uh, really cool touch with the Ganondorf Amiibo, the fact that he gives you possibly explosive barrels and not just an item drop. So. Uh, that would be the Ganondorf Amiibo here that I already had open. And then we're going to move on to, I think, the 8-Bit Link Amiibo right here. So this is part of the 30th Anniversary series that came out in uh, this past holiday. Really cool Amiibo. Very similar to the Mario one, but a little bit cooler, I think. Um, and... Uh, Box art's really nice and everything, but we're going to pop this open. I'm going to show you how to open this in a way that you can still put the Amiibo back in the box and actually, like, hang it on your hang it on the wall, put it on a shelf and stuff like that, and it really won't look like you opened the box. So uh, the secret, really, is cutting along the bottom edge here and then slowly pulling it apart so that the uh, the graphic here stays on the, uh, the plastic bubble. And then you leave this top as a hinge, so this is going to flip open, and you'll be able to take the amiibo out, but you'll also be able to put it back in and even hang it on a, on a pin on your wall while still looking like it's sealed. So, best of both worlds here with this one, and then we're going to get started with that. So there's a seam here at the bottom of every amiibo, and you kind of want to just cut along the perforation. So once you got it cut along the bottom edge, you're just going to pop it open like that. You don't have to be too gentle. Now you can pop out the whole amiibo. Put that, off, put that down for a second, and I'll show you. It looks like it really hasn't been opened. See up here, it looks perfect along the sides. And if you were hanging on the wall, the gravity kind of just keeps it together. So the way that I've always opened my Amiibo to keep the boxes looking nice. If you want to save the boxes, if not, you can just rip them open and go crazy. Doesn't really matter, but I'll set that off to the side. So here is the 8-bit Link Amiibo. Let's see it from the side. It's very cool. I haven't seen the really seen it out of the box before. It has the sword here on his back. There's the shield out. I do like the gold base with the uh, with this pattern around here. This is the 30th anniversary base so it's a little bit different than the newer ones or the original ones and this one's going to give you possibly the cap of the hero the tunic of the hero or the trousers of the hero uh, those are the the original nes outfit basically that you can get for this there's also a chance that the chest is going to contain the legend of zelda sword and you always drop barrels that'll give you rupees and stuff like that and i believe you also can get uh sword shields or elemental arrows from this particular amiibo so that's the 8-bit link. Now we're going to go with the Ocarina of Time link. Now this is one of the ones that disappeared from all my local stores. Um, every store had a ton of these, especially these two. And these are all completely gone in the past week. Uh, and they're selling for you know upwards of $50 on eBay. So glad I got mine while I got it. It was still cheap. 
and I can't believe Amiibo Scout thing is back. It's incredible. So once again, you just kind of want to find a spot here where you can just cut the perforations. And if you have a nice knife, it'll cut right through it real quick. So again, make sure that's completely open and you just pop it. There you go. Now you're going to pull it out. So here is the Ocarina of Time Link Amiibo. Some really nice details on the shield. The Master Sword on his back. Playing his little Ocarina. So this one's going to give you Claymores or Elemental Arrows. Um, one of the unique drops that you can get from it is the Cap of Time, the Tunic of Time, and the Trousers of Time. So that's going to basically be the Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time outfit that you see here. Uh, that you will have for your Link in Breath of the Wild. And there's also a chance you can get a unique weapon that's called the Vigoron Sword. So you also drop uh, meat items as well. So uh, give this one a shot. This one has some of the cool stuff as you can get the Ocarina of Time outfit along with a, a sword and stuff like that. So uh, that is the Ocarina of Time Link. Next up we have the 30th Anniversary Toon Link and Toon Zelda. Uh, unfortunately, the Toon Link on this pack and the Toon Link from the from the Smash series, they're exactly the same. Uh, it's unfortunate. I believe Zelda is slightly different than her regular Zelda counterpart. So again, you're just going to want to make sure you're cutting away from yourself here. Find the seam. There's usually a, a little opening where you can slip your knife in. And then you just want to make sure that you're not cutting the box, you're just cutting the plastic on the bottom. This one's a little bit harder. This is a two pack, okay. There we go. And again, same like the regular ones, you just pop it. Pop it open. So here is Toon Link from the 30th anniversary series with the different pose than the original one, different base, of course. So this one's the same as the other one, so I'm not going to explain it twice. This one's going to either give you broadswords or elemental arrows. Uh, if you're lucky, you can get the Cap of the Wind, the Tunic of the Wind, or the Trousers of the Wind. Uh, if you're even luckier, you can get a unique weapon called the Sea Breeze Boomerang. And as you might expect, this one's going to drop fish as uh, your food item. So there you go. That is the Toon Link from the 30th Anniversary. And here is Toon Zelda from the 30th Anniversary. Really nice. It's a really nice sculpt, especially bringing that art style into you know, an actual figure. And this one's either going to give you shields or rare gems. If you're lucky, this is going to give you the hero shield. And this is also going to drop plant items for cooking. And that is the Toon Zelda Amiibo from the 30th Anniversary set. So we only have four left. Um, I guess I'm just going to pop open the Toon Link real quick. Just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay. Press that right open. I want to just pop it open. Here is the Toon Link Amiibo. This one's a lot cooler, I think, than the other one, just because he's kind of has the sword out. He has the shield out, ready for action. And of course, this is going to do the same thing as the previous Toon Link Amiibo. Unfortunately, I hoped that it did something different, but unfortunately, it doesn't. Uh, opening anyway, I don't really care. I'm not going to sell these. And you can see this is the regular Smash series, so it has the Smash logo on the base. Final three here. I'm just going to go with the Zelda. You've all seen it before. Same as last time, just find the seams usually popping up on the corner. Once you get the first perforation, it's a lot easier. Zelda Amiibo. Very nice detail on this one. See the detail on the skirt and the painted details up here. Super 
pretty nice. All right, so Zelda's going to give you mostly bows and rare gems. Um, the one you're going to be going for with this one is the Twilight Bow. And it's also going to drop uh, random herbs and stuff like that for cooking. That is the Zelda Amiibo. And we have Link. The piss stand Link. I don't know why they made that yellow. But, uh, you see, these are, this is like the original one from literally the first day that Amiibos came out. I bought this and a whole bunch of other ones. And years later, I'm going to be opening this one. It's really why I wanted to record it because this just cuts right through. Excuse my focus. Make sure it's pulled apart. We have the Link Amiibo, the original Smash Link. I believe this from the Skyward Sword. You see it has to stand because obviously it's only making contact by its foot, so that would probably break pretty easily. Um, it didn't have to be yellow though, so that's all I'm saying. And this again has really nice, the more realistic ones have these very nice paint detail and stuff like that. So it's going to drop chess, that's going to give you the cap of twilight, tunic of twilight, or the trousers of twilight. Otherwise it's going to give you random swords, shields, and elemental arrows. As far as food, it's going to give fruit and meat items. So this one has, seems like this one has the biggest variety of stuff that it can give you. Because it's going to give you, you know, uh, it can give you a horse. And it's going to give you uh, weapons, food, and the outfit from, I guess, Twilight Princess. Sheik and Link are actually going for like around 70 bucks last time I checked online. It's crazy to think that these were all but worthless, you know not that long ago, just a week ago, so. See, it just cuts right through that. Just pop it open like the rest. Here is the sheet Amiibo. Very cool. I never really realized the, the hair in the back, because I've only seen it from this angle. It's cool to see, you know, the, the design on the back of the Amiibo. They put a lot of detail to something that you never see in the package. See, I don't know why they didn't just make the link with this stand. It's a lot more um, discreet. So you would think that this would give you the same thing as Zelda, but she's a little bit different. So this one's going to give you the Sheikah Sword, uh, the Shield of the Mind's Eye, or Elemental Arrows. If you're lucky, you'll get uh, Sheik's Mask, which gives you a stealth bonus um, when you're wearing it. And then this also drops assorted mushrooms. So that is Sheik. Uh, this is the last one, and that's pretty much it for the Zelda Amiibo collection. One tip about these is when you're using them, uh, you can use them one time per day, and it's going to give you a random drop. Um, what you can do, there's a little trick. Uh, basically, just save before you use them, and then you scan it in on your controller. If you have the Pro Controller or just using the Joy-Con, you scan it in. And then if you don't like the drop that you get, just reload the save and you can scan it again. So say you wanted, you know, the hero's tunic, you can keep doing it over and over until you get, you know, the hero's tunic. And then when you finally get it, just save the game and it's going to basically let you choose what you get from it. I mean, if you look, there's, I think, like eight or nine different amiibo uh, from the Zelda line, just the older ones. So, I mean... Unless you're really impatient, you really can just scan it once a day and, and get it as you go along. But I know some people want to finish off the set, especially after a while if they're only missing, say, the hat or the pants or something like that. Um, of course, you're going to want to just get it over with. So that is a way to get around the once per day uh, trick there. So that's about all we have for today. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll check you on the flip side. Peace.